Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are talking about manifest files in Kubernetes. So uh, when I was studying for the KCNA and I sat it, I was just seeing uh, conflicting terms about what they call their configuration files because I couldn't understand if there were variants, if they meant different things. But then I kind of settled on the knowledge that they're actually all manifest files, and that's why uh, this slide is here for you, or slides, I should say. So let's describe what a manifest is using non-technical terms. So a manifest file is a document that is commonly used for customs. So like going over the border from Canada to US to list the contents of cargo or passengers. It's an itemized list of things. So what is that in the context of Kubernetes? Well, a manifest file is a generalized name for any Kubernetes configuration file that defines the configuration of various Kubernetes components. And the name will change. Sometimes they'll call it a pod spec file. Sometimes they'll call it a Kubernetes configuration file, but they're all manifest files, right? If you're listing these, this YAML stuff in a, uh, uh, with Kubernetes components, they're all manifest files. And these are all manifest files with specific purposes. Like I was just saying, deployment file, pod spec file, network policy file, and manifest files can be written either in YAML or JSON. Now I've never seen a JSON manifest file, but taking my Terraform knowledge, I bet the reason why there's JSON is if you are pragmatically creating them. Same thing with AWS, with CloudFormation templates, with their YAML and JSON. Um, you probably would never write a JSON file by hand, but it can take it and it probably it's being generated by another app. So here's an example of it in YAML and here's an example of it in JSON. So a manifest file can contain multiple Kubernetes components, which makes sense because we said manifest is an itemized list of things. So it can have uh, definitions, configurations. So here is an example of one. And in YAML, they have the syntax, which is the three hyphens, which allows you to define uh, basically an array. So like we have two different things here. And once we have all of our, um, oh, how wh whichever amount of, um, Kubernetes components we wanted to find in a manifest file, we're going to be using kubectl and writing apply. And this is something that we use a lot in this course. We're doing kubectl, apply hyphen F, et cetera. You will absolutely know this by the end of the course, inside and out. Uh, and resource configuration files is sometimes used to describe multiple resources in a manifest file, which is confusing because manifest by definition means an itemized list, multiple things. Um, but that's just the terminology throughout the documents, throughout uh, the ecosystem there. I just wanted to clear that up for you, okay?